Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to provide insight and guidance for all water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces for the month of November 2018. So this is going to apply to your sun, moon, or rising if you're also a water dominant person um, or if you have a water sign for a midhaven, um, then this will apply to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm using major arcana cards to see what the major energies are for all the water signs um, this month. And then I will use the minor arcana cards to feed the reading um, so I can get a clear picture of the energies that will be present. So um, it's been really crazy. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Ariana Grande. And maybe because she's a cancer, so she's a water sign. But I've, um, <clears throat> I've been listening to a lot of her music, and I don't know why I wasn't exposed to her earlier, but I've just been really listening to her. Her um, album, Sweeteners, is bomb, so I'm just in that mood. I've been listening to Get Well, Get Well Soon, I think that's the name of the song. And, ooh, it's on repeat. But anyways, <clears throat> let's get started. <laughs> so... We have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Sun card. So, uh, water sign, you may be dealing with a fixed sign person or a Leo. So, the fixed sign person could be um, Leo, Capricorn, and I think it's... Is Aquarius a fixed sign? I think Aquarius is a fixed sign. Okay, yeah. So the fixed sign, okay? Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, and of course, Leo, because the sun card is here. So um, the energies I'm getting, there's something that you're working on, water sign, that you're trying to complete. Um, and you're going to have some success. You definitely will have some success. Um, you've been working on this. Um, project for some time or you know there's been some stagnation the wheel has not really been moving for you so it's going to move for you for sure um, this month and you're going to have some success um, it also could represent even a birth of a child as well okay because I see the energy as like an incubation period and then you know the baby jumps out you know <laughs> okay what else am I seeing? Um, it's also a, a reminder if you have been feeling stuck, your internal compass has kind of been stuck. Um, it's important that you look on the brighter side and try not to be uh, in a vibration that um, is stagnant. Yes, I understand things can be stagnant around us, but if we understand that, you know what, this is the process and things will move forward, that's looking on the brighter side. And then when you're able to look on the brighter side, um, your vibration aligns to that and you're able to start seeing the results uh, uh, sooner than later, of course. But just trust in the process, okay? Trust in the uh, process. Okay, um, you may have went through a time where um, you were feeling very, I forgot to set my timer, uh, feeling very down, very depressed, experiencing some bad luck, and this month, things are going to turn around for you, water sign, okay? Um, but they're definitely, a Leo could be playing a major role in your life. Okay, so let me set this alarm here. I I don't know how many minutes I'm into this. Um, let's just do it for 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, so let's see what else we got. So we got the Knight of Swords reverse. We have the Three of Coins, which is the Three of Pentacles. Three of, uh, Eight of Swords reverse and then Seven. The Nine of Swords reverse, excuse me. I'm like talking too fast. So Eight of Swords reverse, Nine of Swords reverse. Then we have the Ace of Coins reverse. Then we have the Five of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Cups reverse. And we have the Knight of Coins. Um, the Five of Cups is in the same exact position 
um, which was in the air sign reading, okay? This is in the air sign reading. So water sign, you could be dealing with the air sign. Um, and you also could be dealing with the fire sign because the three of pentacles was in the fire sign reading. And the knight of swords reverse was in the air sign reading. Okay. All right. So um, the knight of swords reverse and the three of pentacles. So water sign, you could be dealing with someone that's a little hothead, maybe an air sign that's kind of been cutting and uh, snappy with their response to you. Um, their response has probably been impulsive and irrational, like they're not really careful with their energy or their approach with you. Um, and you're just trying to make things work. You're trying to work together with this person despite their delivery and you're kind of refusing to you ref, it's like it's like you're refusing to get anxiety over this person you're kind of refusing to allow this person to run you crazy It's like you see exactly what's going on and you're refusing to uh, feed into the energy. The energy is very, um, it's communicative, it's, it's communication, it's thoughts. I mean, it's, you're refusing to allow the situation to get to you. But the thing is, water sign, you may be too caught up in the details and refusing to see why it is that this person is responding this way to you. Okay. I feel like you've been here before. Um, water sign, if you are working with other people, it could be in a relationship, work environment. Um, it's important to be attentive to the other person's needs and why they feel the way they do, why they are coming off the way they are coming off. Um, there may be a need for you to address the situation, shine light on the situation because this is, you've been back in this situation before. It's like, it's like a vicious cycle, okay? So you've been here before, so it's going to call for you to really uh, find out what it is that's causing this person to be this way. Now, if it's just irrational behavior and just petty shit and just shit that's just not even worth your time, then I don't blame you for not wanting to engage the situation. You may have not seen it before that it was pure drama, but now you're seeing it. You're seeing it now. You're seeing that this person you're dealing with is very um, incapable of communicating in an effective way. Um, you're starting to see that now. Before, you probably thought it was just, I don't know, something that you did. You know, you may have done some things in the past that were questionable, but. And this person probably brings it up against you a lot. Okay. But you're choosing not to allow it to affect you anymore. Okay. So uh, we have the Ace of Coins reversed. And I'm seeing here that something is spoiled. So this connection that you have with this person, it could be a relationship, it could be career in regards to career. Um, you're seeing that things have kind of spoiled. There's a spoiled energy, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that maybe a water sign, you could even feel exhausted some probably even depressed and it's causing you to have uh, to be in a vibration of a sense of loss, sadness, 
that's five of cups right here is about loss and sadness sorrow this situation this connection you have with this person whoever is in your close circle whoever you're working with um, there's obviously there was there's a disagreement there's there's not a, an ability to see eye to eye so therefore it kind of spoils the situation um, there's a feeling of it being spoiled um, and it's leaving either you water sign or the person that's involved is, is leaving them feeling very sad about the situation okay and I mean it's an overabundant feeling it's, it's, there's a, a overabundant feeling this ace of cups reverse um, there's a blockage here there's 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 no renewal of emotions okay it's like the emotions are either suppressed or there is no renewal there's no healing from the situation in regards to your emotions okay or the emotions of the other person the other person could be so uh, the other person could be helplessly resting in this energy they're always sad. They're, they're, it's like they're never satisfied. They can't see the brightest side of life. So therefore, everybody else has to suffer. Okay? Because they're not healing. Because right behind it, the Ace of Cups is right behind it. When the Ace of Cups is right side up, it's an angel making an offering of a new beginning of hope, of just... Just pleasure i mean the the just positive energy okay this angel is trying to make that offer of positive energy is just love everything but this person's not refusing it it's like they're refusing it they're comfortable in this um vibration um there's some things behind this uh five of pentacles this guy that's crying that's not feeling well that's looking sad here let me see if i can get the reflection off of it Right behind him, it's the angel. He's like, he's not seeing the opportunity here to heal. I mean, even the person here standing behind him is trying to console him and say, it's, it's going to be okay. But this person's resting in this energy, okay? But it's heavy energy. It's, 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 it's very, very much so heavy. Um, and I also see here, water sign, the fact that this Five of Cups, I just want to show you guys this. The Ace of Coins, the Ace of Coins is first, and then you have the Five of Cups, and then you have the Ace of Cups reverse. These are two Aces on the outside of this Five of Cups. This Five of Cups person is refusing to see the blessings in front of them. It's like they're blocking their own blessings. And water sign, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. So it's really important to get out of this vibration. Whatever it is that you have not healed from, it's, it's important that you address it right away. You have to address it right away. You have to shine light on the situation. You have to stop the vicious cycle. You have to shine light on this, okay? Now, what comes next is the Knight of Coins. And the Knight of Coins... Um, it's about someone that plans very carefully, that is able to see the bigger picture. They're, they are calculated, but they're not quick to jump the gun. They really look at things before they make a decision. So I see that um, water sign, you could be getting out of this funk and starting to move forward now. Okay, you're starting to move forward now. Or the situation that you were in, you're starting to move forward. And it's amazing because I mentioned earlier in the reading about this, the sun card, about seeing the bigger picture or, or seeing a positive outcome later. And the fact that the sun here represents the pentacle, it looks kind of similar to the sun here. You know, it looks very similar. So it's wonderful that this card is at the end of this reading. So you're going to be able to move forward and you're going to be able to pick up where you left off 
and recover from the situation as long as you allow yourself to do so as long as you are willing to see that you know what there is um, a light at the end of the tunnel I will get through this whatever the situation you're going through okay water sign so I want to pick an additional card from the rebel deck and we have some curse words in it so hopefully it doesn't offend you <laughs> So a message for all water signs, all water signs for November 2018. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So you look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. So it goes back to the vicious cycle. No more vicious cycle, water sign, okay? <laughs> you look like a shit so, shit so, shit show, shit, shit so, shit, I can't even say it. Shit show, oh my gosh. I need to go to a speech therapist. Okay, so, <laughs> so yeah, so this is, um, cutting it straight to you guys okay so water sign, sign just make sure you start you know looking on the brighter side and make some changes you know make some changes for the better um, be aware of your surroundings be aware of your um, actions as well because you don't want to come off as looking like something that you're you're not trying to portray okay so I'm going to pick a card for each of the signs, Cancers, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So, message for Cancer, Cancer, message for Cancer, Cancer, let's do Pisces, message for Pisces, okay, Oof. Pisces, Pisces, okay, message for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, message for Scorpio. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so Cancer, we have be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. And this was in the fire sign reading. I don't know if it was for, oh, it was for Aries. So water sign, you could be dealing with an Aries, a person that has Aries in their char or Aries energy because I Aries had the same card. Okay, so we're looking at Pisces. Pisces, be impeccable with your word. Become a white magician. All the magic you possess is based on your word and you can, excuse me, and you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from a spell. So the power of your word, Pisces, is very, I mean, it's very powerful. So you have to be really be careful with what you say, okay? Oh, and I didn't show you guys. Here's a card. And here's a card for Pisces. Okay. All right. So lastly, let's look at Scorpio. So Scorpio, don't take anything personally. Everyone lives in their own dream. All people live in their own dream, in their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one we live in. Wow. So Scorpio, um, Sometimes you guys can be critical, you know, and sometimes a little bit judgmental, like all of us. So just don't take anything personally. If something's not really going the way that you're wanting, um, don't take it personal. Um, people are going through their own um, journey, you know, so don't take anything personal. I mean, they could be going through something really tough at this time. You just have to be understanding. So um, that concludes the reading for all water signs. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you would like to book a reading with me, feel free to do so. I will um, put my email in the description box below. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your month. 
and I will see you guys in December. God bless.